What's up everyone, Matt from The Nerdy Review here. Finally back, today we're gonna to be doing a video on how to convert any image into an SVG so that you can easily use it inside of Fusion 360. So to do this, we're gonna go ahead and get an example and I'm gonna use this Ohio State image right here. And now you'll see it's trying to save it as an SVG already, but then it says it's a PNG. So that means this most likely will not be able to be imported directly into Fusion. And you can see it doesn't even show up in the import here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up Inkscape. Inkscape is a free graphics editing program that anyone can download. And we are gonna open up that Ohio State logo. After opening the logo, all we have to do is hit path up here at the top and then hit trace bitmap. Then we can just click on this image and over here is the trace bitmap panel. And I'm gonna go ahead and I guess first I'll just show you guys a live preview of how this works. And so you can just hit this apply button and it shows you like what'll happen. Now I'm gonna undo that. But what we're trying to do is create this outlined image that you see here on the right and so I'm gonna adjust a few of these settings. First, I'm gonna change the brightness threshold so that it picks up this gray area around the top, these gray borders that are currently missing over here. And then I'm going to hit update. And, oh, there we go, it misclicked. So now you can see those borders showed up. So then I can hit the apply button and I can drag this off and you can see that it made a perfectly uh, perfect copy of it. But this is not just a copy. It's actually a little bit different because the, the file itself contains all the coordinate points for all these different edges. And that's what Fusion is gonna take advantage of. So now I can just save this. As an SVG. And then I can go back to Fusion. I can click Insert and Insert SVG. Now I'm gonna insert from my computer and I'm gonna choose that file I just saved. You're gonna have to pick a plane to put it on because it's gonna treat this like a sketch. So I'm gonna choose this bottom plane. And then boom, you can immediately select all of these different areas. Way easier than tracing. Uh, this was a pretty easy example, you know, that you could make without tracing or converting an SVG pretty easily. But this trick is very handy. Uh, we had quite a few people respond and say something on our other video about tracing uh, just a state on like a map using the spline tool. This is different than using the spline tool. The spline tool is still very effective and you should know how to use it, but this is also a very, very good skill to have in your tool set. And then because this is my alma mater, I am compelled to uh, add a little bit of color before this video is over. And if you're curious how I'm adding the color, all I am doing is pressing the A button, which is the hotkey for appearances. And then I am able to uh, just drag and drop it onto a body. But you can see this easily, I was able to make the Ohio State Block O design. Take to render, and boom, we are done. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give us a like and subscribe. About to get back at it, pumping out a whole bunch more videos for you. So uh, stay tuned.